Thank you for checking out this video on WASD-FM. My name is Luke the Kook, and this is the laziest video I've ever made. Any visitors not familiar with Virtualville can tune in to WASD-FM for news and local events, and enjoy your stay. <laughs> well, okay, that's not really true. I've done Let's Play videos. What we're about to witness here is uh, a horror movie written by AI. So this has been pretty popular the last couple of years. Uh, I think I think the best one I've ever seen is the uh, Batman script written by an AI. And essentially the idea is you have an AI. Um, I don't know what kind of AI. I don't know if it's written by JavaScript or C Sharp or uh, whatever. Anyway. Machine learning? I don't know exactly what kind of AI, what kind of code it uses. So you feed the AI about a thousand hours of like Cheers episodes or or Batman cartoons or whatever. And then you uh, have the AI print its own script, I guess. I'm not in... Look, I'm a programmer myself. I don't exactly know how that works. Uh, I would love to know what exactly this AI is. And from what I hear, a lot of them are just kind of fake anyway. A lot of them seem fake. A lot of them seem like they just use, like, Mad Libs type humor. Uh, I, I think a lot of the humor is just people just putting in whatever they want to put in randomly. And not exactly generated by an AI at all. Still, they can be funny, regardless. So I found this one that I wanted to react to. I love horror movies. Well, okay, I love the idea of horror movies, I love good horror movies, like, say, mostly psychological thrillers and uh, the old classics like The Texas Chainsaw Massacre and whatnot. Yeah, I have to admit, most horror movies are terrible. They're marketed toward, you know, just the popcorn type of audiences. But hey, they do well, normally. So here is an AI's translation of how a horror movie should go. Well, let me shut up now and just start the video. And AI wrote the script, sure. Sure, yeah. Totally believe that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> kind of looks like a terrible version of Minecraft, and it's glitchy. The grass just... Is the grass powering up like a Super Saiyan? It's just ascending into the heavens. Okay, the glitch resolved itself. Oh. The Old man, you do car. not belong. Old we man. this house for a week of young times. I am. <laughs> so it's the uh, the horror movie trope. You know, you got to have your uh, your caretaker. You have to have your kind of crazy caretaker. But he's also like a sage, you know, and he always gives the warning. This place is haunted. This place is demonic. Whatever. It's cursed. And you have your, your party-loving teenagers who are trying to get laid in this really creepy place. During their spring break. You know, it always makes sense, right? Young times. I am the caretaker. I care. He cares. Because he's the caretaker. You have to take care and caretake. He... <laughs> Do not stay His in eyes. house. Kitchen is a monster. With... <laughs> well, you know, he's wasting no time to let them know... Uh, this house is cursed. Uh, don't stay here, which is what the caretaker usually does. So glad the AI understands that. Which is basement. Beds are ghosts. Beds are ghosts. That just reminds me of the grudge where, uh, the ghost lady <laughs> pulls the other chick into the bed or whatever. That was one of the best jump scares of the movie. <laughs> TV is a book. The TV is a book. Okay, so yeah, it's making fun of the trope of, uh, you know, you got to have your, what is it called? A MacGuffin. <laughs> you got to have your object trope. A MacGuffin, if you will. Get buried. And the TV is a book. It's a cursed TV slash book. It's a TV that can transform into a book. It's more than meets the eye. You are waste of age. Maybe waste of age. Leave. 
This place gives me the crepes. Stop acting crepes. chicken. Your virginity is making you a bird, as usual. <laughs> Stop being such a wuss, okay? Your virginity is making you less of a man. It's making the rest of us feel really uncomfortable, okay? You need to lose your virginity. This ain't the place to do it. This ain't the crowd to lose your virginity. <laughs> Just giving you a heads up, though. And of course, a little orphan kid, yep. So he's got to be a spooky ghost girl. Your sobriety is not appreciated. <laughs> Your sobriety is not appreciated. Well, you expect a little or orphan girl to be drunk, right? Wouldn't you? <laughs> Let's just throw something at her. <laughs> Die, you out. Houston, Dallas. Scream. Scream. Oh, I thought he was going to do a Neo dodge. A very bizarro Superman thing to say hello as you're dying. <laughs> no. He needs a body to drink. <laughs> no, he needs some beer to drink? Is that what he said? <laughs> Quick, resurrect him with alcohol. Hello, 911. Hey, that's a good idea. He calls 911 right away. And the Frankenstein monster answers, of course. <laughs> and they're not going to believe him. Hello. The music is so dramatic, it's perfect. That could be one of two things. The chainsaw making that noise or him laughing. Love how the caretaker is just standing there. Oh, there we go. Now he's moving. Run into the car. Go. Run into the car. Make your getaway. Get out of here. Escape. I'll take care of this guy. I end this. Yeah, don't run directly toward the killer. That's a bad idea. And then they run in the house, of course. The other two. <laughs> so the AI understands the AI understands these horror movie tropes very well. That is not the car. That was a great horror movie. All right. I can't wait to see the whole thing. I'm totally sold. All right. Now we're going to take a look at my favorite one. Uh, this is a very popular one. Everybody already knows about uh, this AI scripted Batman comic. All right. I don't want to interrupt this one. I just want to enjoy it. I've seen this one before. Batman. Batman stands next to his Batmobile and uses his Batcomputer. <laughs> He's sometimes Bruce Wayne. Sometimes, sometimes, Batman. All times, Orphan. Now, this one actually... All right, I'm interrupting. Uh, this one actually does... I just have to say, this one actually does sound like it was written by an AI. This sounds a little bit more believable. This is now Steve City. <laughs> I have punched a penguin. I punched a penguin Alfred, in prison. Batman's royal battler carries a tray of goth Battler. <laughs> <laughs> an explosion. Joker is a clown, but insane. Two face is a man, but a turning. No, it is two face and one face. And one face. I think they hate you for other reasons. Two face. Two face flips Alfred like a coin. Alfred lands heads up. Two face goes home. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> Except my losses. <laughs> I am such a freak. Society is bad. You drink water. I drink Anna. <laughs> That's pretty deep. Just like a bat would. That's pretty deep. <laughs> that is savage AI. He fires a bat rocket. The Joker deflects it with his sick sense of humor. A clowny power. I have never followed a rule. That is my <laughs> I, follow, I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> good soldiers do what good soldiers do. The Joker now has a present in his hand. Happy bat day, Birdman. Batman opens the present. He's a good guy. It contains a coupon for the pirates, but is expired. This is a Joker joke. This. <laughs> That's a Joker joke. All right, now that's <laughs> it was written by AI, more so than this one. But hey, uh, and the horror movie written by AI is done by Mr. Squarehead. Go check him out on YouTube, uh, since I pretty much just uh, 
Yeah, uh, use his video without permission. <clears throat> anyway, <coughs> so uh, that's all the time I have for now. Um, yeah, uh, sorry I've been busy lately with a full-time job. And right now, kind of sort of getting ready to move. I haven't really landed anything yet, but it is going to happen eventually. So that's why my little Devoom Pixu is not where it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm packing things up. And uh, that's why I haven't really been uploading a whole lot of content lately. But hey, for me, YouTube is not my job. It's just a hobby. And I'll do it as long as I enjoy doing it. And I'll stop doing it when I'm not enjoying it anymore. And I won't even won't even let you know. <laughs> won't even give you a heads up. Thank you for watching another video on WASDFM. I gotta get going. My name is Luke the Kook. Bye.